Good morning everyone and welcome to Wares Valley, Tennessee and welcome to Live It Up Adventures. We're here in Wares Valley today and as you can see I'm by myself. Kids are at school and Kira's at work. But today I thought I'd do a vlog on the little town of Wares Valley. Now Wares Valley was originally named Crossing Cove. It changed its name to honor Revolutionary War veteran Samuel Ware, which is where Ware's Valley came from. That name change occurred sometime in the 1900s. But now, the Smoky Mountains remained neutral during the Civil War, but had conflict with the Cherokee Indians that included a raid of Ware's Valley in 1864. Now, Ware's Valley is considered a high valley it's higher in elevation than any surrounding cities at 500 feet to be exact. Now Wares Valley, Tennessee was nicknamed the Jewel of the Smokies because of its secret entrance into the National Park and that secret entrance is Metcalf Bottoms. On the south side of Wares Valley is Cove Mountain at 4,400 feet in elevation and is the tallest privately owned mountain east of the Mississippi River. So this is Cove Mountain. All right, everyone, we have stopped at Elvira's Cafe, Farm French Food. I have not yet ate here, but they say that it is one of the greatest places to eat in Wears Valley. So when we do eat here, we will give y'all an update, but this is it, Elvira's Cafe. Farm Fresh Food, free Wi-Fi, early risers welcome. Our next stop is the Mountain Brothers Old Time General Store. This is the store. Got some fall decorations out. Let's take a look. The fall here is so beautiful. Everyone is decorating. Fall is a big thing around here because of the leaves changing. One of the beautiful sights of the Smokies. Looks like we've got some bear carvings here. Different bears at prices. We got some fall pumpkin bears. Some welcome bears. Take a hike. All kinds of for $250 you could own this hiking bear. Outside of the general store. They have the Tennessee State flag flying. They've got the American flag and then their own Mountain Brothers General Store flag. Some more fall decorations outside of the General Store. They have a giant 
bear made out of hay bales. That's pretty cool. Let's go inside the general store and take a look around, see what we can find. They have tons of gourmet coffee that you can buy by the pound. Locally roasted. To go with that gourmet coffee, you got tons of coffee mugs, jams and jellies, all kinds. Pear jam, apple pie jam. Then we got pickled fixings. Cheeses. Ciders. Root beers and cream sodas. K's Code Tennessee Bread. I'm going to have to invest in this. Only 36. 99. Wait, that's the quilt rack. Haha. Oh, the throw blankets are $49.99. Some beautiful home decor. I really like this amazing grace one. Some photos. Look at this tree. One thing you could do in the Great Smoky Mountains is helicopter tours. They take you up, fly you around over the mountains, over the cities. Uh, you can go pretty much however long you want to do. You pay for it by the hour. It's a neat little thing to do. We'll do that one day in the future. To Distillery, Tennessee Moonshine. If you're driving through Wears Valley and you see a truck up in the air on the sign, that's Hillbilly's Restaurant. Now we ate breakfast here the other day. And it was a great breakfast. Now if you do eat at Hillbilly's Restaurant, make sure that you write your name on the pickup truck inside the... Right beside Hillbilly's Restaurant is the Great Smoky Mountain Outfitters, GSM. Let's go check it out. I'm outside Great Smoky Mountain Outdoors, sitting in one of the hammocks. They have displayed here. It's got a capacity of 250 pounds. It's very cool. So Great Smoky Mountain Outdoors has all kinds of outdoor gear. They got hammocks, to buy backpacks, water filtration, shoes, any and everything that you could possibly want. So Great Smoky Mountain Outdoor had tons of camping gear, hammocks, tents, uh, hiking shoes. I showed you a little bit. I didn't want to film around in the whole store because it was kind of small and there were a bunch of people in there. But tons of outdoor gear, knives, fishing equipment, trail maps, 3D maps, uh, all kinds of neat stuff. Definitely will be shopping there, especially since we're going to be going on some backpacking trips sometime in the future. It's going to be a one-stop shop for us. Sitting here with Walking Eagle at the General Store, Where's Valley General Store. Where's Valley General Store. inside the Wears Valley General Store. And they have these Great Smoky Mountain silicone cups. These cups are so cool. And I've seen them before and I think they have different lids that you can put in them. Sippy cup lids. Got Great Smoky Mountain koozies. Shot glasses. All kinds of great souvenirs. They even have coon skin hats. Beautiful wood carving from the John of the John Oliver cabin at Cades Cove. If you need some wood furniture, this is a great place to go. Back on the back porch, they have tons of wood furniture. I really like this thing. Double swinging rockers with cup holders. And a little thing. Love to have this on my front porch. 
This is all pottery made right here, handcrafted in the Tennessee mountains by Walking Bear Pottery. These are beautiful. And look at the detail on this bear. This Indian and horse. Beautiful, beautiful pottery. Look at this bear. Oh my. It's just beautiful. Walking Bear Pottery. You can check him out at wb at walkingbearpottery.com. Made solar power lanterns. They have little light bulbs in them. Solar power's up top. These are neat. Look at this lamp, guys. This lamp is so cool. All kinds of furniture. This lamp is pretty cool, too. I mean, look at this. All kinds of neat things. And this is all supposed to be handmade locally. If you like tin signs, they've got them at the Where's Valley General Store. All right, everyone, this is going to be our last stop for today. This is not on Where's Valley Road, but just off of it, at the corner of Little Creek Road and Valley View Road, is the Valley View Baptist Church. And this is it. It's a beautiful church. It has beautiful scenery behind it. You see Cove Mountain. So let's take a look at the church and let's walk through the cemetery and behind it. So here's the Valley View Baptist Church. As you see, you got Cove Mountain back there behind it. It's a beautiful church. They have the Elkmont Chapel. Uh, Elkmont is a abandoned community, abandoned city. Uh, I've done a hike there before on one of my older channels. We will do an Elkmont hike one day. But uh, that's an Elkmont Chapel. Now I don't know if it was moved and placed here, if this was the original chapel. I'm not sure. Uh, if you know, you can leave a comment down below and let us all be informed. The Valley View Cemetery. Now I like cemeteries. I've never visited this cemetery. But I like old, old cemeteries. <clears throat> now this one doesn't look that old. But does it have a beautiful background of Cove Mountain back there? Beautiful. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe and to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter with the links down below. Until next time, remember to live it up.